This is our kick wheel or momentum wheel. This wheel is powered by you, so it'll teach you how to throw with the greatest efficiency. If you muscle the clay or put a lot of force into it, it'll slow the wheel down much more quickly than if you throw with grace and with skill. So I recommend you try this wheel in order to learn how to throw with efficiency. The adjustment is in the chair and there's two ways to adjust it. One is with the height and the other is to spin it around and you can adjust how much space is between the seat and the wheel. I like it this way. My knee barely fits in there but that's where I set it. To make this wheel fit you, it's important that when you kick, your knee doesn't move up and down a lot. If your knee is moving, the rest of you is going to move as well. So I set it so that my knee is as still as it can be. Many people struggle to make this wheel move. It has a very heavy flywheel. It's actually too heavy for most of the pieces that we make in a Ceramics 1 class. The secret is to start by kicking at the outside edge of the wheel and as it speeds up, move your foot closer towards the center and you'll be able to kick it faster. Many beginners try and kick the wheel by pushing out there and it's much more work than shifting gears like you would a bicycle. When you're throwing with this wheel, you can control the speed quite readily. Oftentimes when you're throwing with this wheel, you usually don't kick the wheel and throw at the same time. While I'm throwing, I often just let the momentum die off as I'm lifting the clay. Try and work with the wheel speed. Don't try and fight the fact that the wheel is slowing down as you throw. This wheel is easy to clean. The splash pan just slides off. You can easily sponge it into your bucket and slide it back on again. That's all you need to do.